यस सर Dear students, I have a PPT, so I'll share now, so that we can uh, we can have discussion on you know uh, the remaining aspects of uh, second semester fieldwork aspects. So team number one is ready with the uh, presentation. So our leader is not around. I hope she will join us as early as possible. Yeah, we are ready. Hello, am I ready? Some of us are absent. Ah, uh, Amina, you are ready? Ah, uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yes, Amina. Just, just a minute, just a minute. I have you clearing. You are hearing well. You are hearing me. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hello, we are hearing you. Good afternoon, Amina. sir. Yeah, Amina. Amina, yes, just, good just morning. a minute. Good morning. Just, just wait for a few minutes. Yeah, I'm. I know I need to introduce ourselves. Then the first one will present his title. Yeah, just a minute, Amina. Wait, Amina. For... Yeah, we made subtitles. Wait, Amina. Yeah. Yeah, the wait. Yeah, yeah. Amina. So the PPT is visible now. No, it's not no, visible. Now just check. It's visible, sir. Now. Now is it visible? Yes, sir. Is it visible now? It is. Yes. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So is everyone able to see the slides? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hello, Amina. You can able to see? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, others also able to see the slides? Yes, no. Sir. Okay. I'm so, not seeing uh, this way. Yes. You're not able to see? Yes. I'm not. Yeah. You're able to see now? No. What about others? So we are seeing it. Because we can see the slide, yeah. Yeah, you're able to see the slides? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. We can see it. Yeah, so can somebody yeah, read what it. is there in the first slide so that I can understand whether it's visible or not? Can somebody read from the... Number one. Okay. Requirements, sir. Number in one. Meeting. In document meeting. Number two, five orientation visits to five different social welfare agencies or institutions. Number three, 15 days of concurrent exactly. visits. Oh, thank you. Yes. So, So can yes can I start now? Oh, we can sir. Hello, dear students. Am I am I audible? Yes, sir.
Hello, am I audible now? Yeah, you yes. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, there was some issue. Yeah. Now this is clear. So we can, uh, you know, we can have a brief presentation later. We can uh, discuss about, uh, you know, today's topic, and then we will generate, uh, you know, uh, more discussion from your end. And we'll see how best you can utilize various group work uh, method, social work method, and different other uh, methods of uh, professional social work to resolve the issues in your uh, communities. Let me start my presentation now. Yeah. Please tell me whether the slides are visible or not. They are not visible, sir. Now? Now they are visible. Not visible? It's, it's visible now, sir. Yes, yes, thank you. So, uh, yesterday, as I said, this is the second semester field work. And yesterday, we, uh, we have also discussed that many of you not started. So, did you start the first semester field work now? Yes, we have started. Hello. Very good, very good. So, you have started, yes, right? Sir. Okay. Sir. Some of us we have not started, but some started. That is it. Okay. So in first semester, Hello, first semester sir. you will have to do twenty. Yeah, please tell me. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, please tell me. Some of the organization in my um yeah. Some of the organization in my locality. They said I should bring letter from the school. I cannot bring ID card or um, admission letter, and I don't know what to do. They have not sent the card. Uh, let us to us. They refuse to assess me in. Sir? Yeah, yeah. So I understand your difficulty. Let's see. I will I'll also discuss with the uh, CYE director. CYE, that is Central Hello, sir. Director, you with me? And uh, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I could have to hear you. Sir, no, I know we can help you out. I did not get your answer. Hello, sir. Fine, sir. I will discuss with the uh, director of Center of Online and I will get back to you. Is that okay? Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, I, I, yeah. I, I, I also and, have a uh, question. You can also explore. Uh, yeah, don't. Yeah, so don't wait on? for the last minute. So you can also, you know, explore other organizations. Once you go for once a month, bring letter. Don't stop from there. You just explore different organizations till you get letter. All right. Can I go on with my questions, sir? Yeah. So we will we will we will have a this you know uh, discussion once. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, I have yeah. a question. What Can I'm, I go with uh, What I'm trying to say is, I will present few slides now, then we can have discussion. Is that okay? Yeah, Hello? I think it is okay. Yeah, yeah. So, as far as the second semester field work is concerned, that is a you know, BSW 105. So, first introduction. Second semester. And five rotation visits to different, uh, you know, social welfare organizations. You'll have to identify five organizations to visit, uh, you know, uh, there and uh, to understand what is the structure of that organization, what are the functions they are doing it, and from where they are getting fund. And what are the social, psychological, different activities they are doing in the society or different organizations to understand their, uh, you know, uh, admin structure, different other, you know, activities. Hospitals, it, it could be any welfare industries, it could be any, uh, you know, youth organizations, it could be charitable organizations or NGOs, 
any organization you can identify one in the, in that organization so fifth fourth one is participate in five individual conferences now for time being whatever you are doing with me this five you can write it as the individual conferences so that uh, that can be treated as you know your uh, you know once uh, you know you know till you get you know, your uh, Uh, fieldwork support. Hello. Sir. Yes, we are following. Hello. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes Dr. Setri, your voice is reaching to everyone. Yes, yes. Oh, you are there. Your voice is your voice is loud and clear to everyone. Doctor, I, I suggest that maybe we start with the presentation due to the Hello, are you there? Uh, to the network. Doctor Setti, Doctor Setti, your voice is clear. We are following, sir. We are following. So please go ahead. Okay, sir. Thank you. So for second semester. As I said in the beginning, yesterday was an induction meeting for you for second semester, and uh, from today onwards, you can write uh, you know all these things as part of uh, individual conferences with me. In the place of uh, you know fieldwork supervisor, you can write my name for second semester, and uh, you, uh, you please identify five uh, agencies for doing uh, five visits and any other uh, organization for doing fifteen visits. If you do this much, second semester fieldwork is completed. So. self help system and etc a second objective is to develop capacity for planning organizing and evaluating different community programs this you will have to do it during your uh, you know field work it is a part of second semester syllabus Dear learners, please wait. There is some connectivity issue with uh, the resource person. Okay, so thank he, you, he sir. Joins back. Yes, sir. Please wait, please. Thank you, sir. Hello? Is anyone there? We're all here. But, uh, oh, okay. Thank you. I thought I was having network issues. 
Yes, yes, there is some network issues with the resource persons. Therefore, he is not able to, uh, you know, log in again. So he's trying. He's trying to get back. Please wait. Hello. Hello. Can anyone is anyone if any is anyone hearing? Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Um, I don't know um if this is the right time, but I just want to ask you know, you know, a couple of questions. You know, I had um due to some emergencies, I had missed several classes, so I kind of get lost in some um, you know, in some executions that we had. So I just have a very few little questions about our field work. You know, social um practical um wonderful, based on wonderful. So I want to ask um. In, in a scenario whereby we can't or we are not able to get along with a supervisor yeah. in our geographical location, I mean, someone who can, who has, you know, a degree in social work, um, what's the substitute for this? Also, I also want to ask, um, I think I was, yeah, I was a participant in the class where Rashida had asked about not having up to, you know, sufficient organizations within her locality to visit. Um, so I'm also trying to ask about that also. If if someone perhaps or doesn't have sufficient organizations within his or locality or location to visit for the field work, um, how do some how do the person handle this solution or this problem? Thank you. You see, only the resource person uh, will be able to answer this question because this is pertaining to the subject. All right, but, sir. All right, but sir. as far as I understand from your question, I would like to inform you that uh, you have to do your practical activities, uh, you know, in a uh, organization, uh, mostly in NGOs, non-governmental organizations. And yesterday, uh, Dr. Kanappa Sethi has clearly said that which are the organization which, which could be picked up for your uh, practical training. And uh, that arrangement you have to make by yourself. You have to contact the head of the organization where you want to do your practical, take their permission, go there, and also carry your practicum, that booklet. And uh, whatever activities that you do, you have to prepare the reports, etc. Isn't it? I see. I see. And uh, that is supposed to be sent to, uh, you know, IGNU through your LMS. So that the remaining 50% will be evaluated by your local supervisor who will be guiding you in doing the practical at your place. And the remaining 50% evaluation will take place by the school faculty. So that way right, activities will go on. But uh, in detail, uh, the resource person will be able to tell you. So let us wait for uh, Dr. Kanappa Sethi to join back. And All right, sir. Thank you. And we will ask this question to Hello. Them how to do Yeah. So now I know uh, this right. presentation will be continued. Will be continued. Yes, Dr. Kanappa Sethi has joined. So, uh, Dr. Sethi, there is a question from Frederick. So he was asking about the practical. So kindly listen to the question and try to you know reply uh, to that. Use uh, social work methods. Mr. Yes, Frederick, sir. Frederick can you please. Can you can you please ask your question again? All right, sir. All right, sir. Let me get back to my question. All right, my question is concerning the practical and um, field work. So uh, first, I asked about in a scenario where we are, whereby we are not able to get along with um, a field work supervisor because the legal Hello? modalities for select. Can you hear me, sir? Hello. Is there anything any issue? Mr. Frederick is asking a question. Hello, unable to understand, Mr. Uh, uh, Frederick. I'm I'm actually asking a question, sir. I'm unable to understand due to some. No problem. So, uh, Mr. Frederick, you send a mail to now Dr. I'll Kanappa. Yeah. Mr. Frederick, oh. please send a detailed mail to Dr. Kanappa Sethi. He is our school faculty. And he will oh, be, you know, responding to your question through mail. Oh, I okay. see. So, oh, I see. Uh, 
So now, now let us listen to Dr. Kanapa Sethi. He is uh, talking to you about uh, the uh, rest portions of the practicum. So please listen to him first. Hi. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, uh, Miss Samina. We will have a presentation now, and once the presentation is over, uh, work to be used in your field work settings. That is one. Second one. Now there is a syllabus for your second, uh, you know, semester. That syllabus has to be practiced into the field. These two things will have to, you know, merge. So you, both the things you will have to practice. Then only you will learn proper social work skills. Is that fine? So now I request Miss Amina to present a topic with all our members. And another thing, I request all the members to take points in case if you have any question. At the end of our presentation, you can ask a you know, query and answer it. Over to you, Amina. Hello, am I audible? Yes, yeah, is Amina there? Group number one. Yeah, she's. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry. Yes, Amina, please go ahead. Hello, everyone. Are you hearing me? Yes, Hello. we can hear you very well. Okay. Amina we wanted to present uh, yeah. our group assignment. My, we wanted to present our group assignment. We are group one. And we make subtitles. We make six subtitles. Everyone will present one subtitle. Our first subtitle will, bring the, will present Dennis Baitao. The topic overview. Dennis, go on. By Tao. Okay. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank everyone on on this platform. My name, as stated earlier, by my leader Amina. I'm by Tao Dennis. So the question is how to identify the health needs of rural communities in in Africa. So I'm taking part. I'm just going to give an overview. That is my part I will pray today. In 2016, the population of Africa was 1.216 billion, and the growth rate is 2.37% by 2023 and 2022 compared to the previous years. And I believe that everyone uh, agrees with me on this issue. Currently, the population of Africa is 16.72% of the total world population, and it is comprised of 54 countries by today, including Uganda, Malawi, Nigeria, and much more. Anas, can you mute your microphone? Okay, thank you. Research shows that uh, the health needs of rural communities, especially on individual living in Africa, are partly, are, partly, are partly from those in urban areas, and I believe that everyone agrees on this issue. Rural areas often suffer from a lack of access to health care. Over 60% of the African continent resides in rural areas with up to 80% facing geographical difficulties in accessing modern health care. I believe that we are together. These differences are the result of geographic, social, economic, workplace, personal health factors. For example, many rural communities here in Africa have a large proportion of elderly people and children. 
when you go to Uganda, when you go to Malawi, when you go to Nigeria, when you go to South Sudan, when you go to the northern part of Africa and wherever it is, that is it. With a relatively few people of working age 20, aged 20 to 50 years, I know in Uganda here, those who are in the working class, they are like 20, age, they are aged 20 to 50 years, like that in Nigeria, like that in Malawi, and the entire part of Africa. That is how it is. Such an area having a high lead dependency ratio, we agree that when only 20 to 50 years, they are only in a working class. So the elders and the children, they are vulnerable. We agree that. Because the poorer the socioeconomic condition is, less education, high rates of tobacco and alcohol use, higher mortality rates when compared to their urban counterparts. There are also high rate of poverty among the dwellers in many parts of Africa. And poverty is one of the biggest social determinants of heredity. Of For example, in the 20th, 20. Africa faces a range of health challenges from infectious diseases such as cholera, malaria, Ebola, HIV, AIDS, and more recently coronavirus at a growing burden of chronic diseases. Africa was hit by coronavirus and everyone knows about it. Rural health in Africa has become a critical matter and one of the reasons is, is the lack of health care service providers in, here in Africa. It's therefore necessary to introduce available, uncomplicated, and effective medical approaches among, amongst rural communities. Traditional medicine is considered as an alternative health care system in many African countries. However, in my conclusion, LFH is a critical indicator and determinant of the performance of the nation and society. Its, its provision remains an emotive issue in high, middle, and low-income countries, including Uganda, South Sudan, Malawi, even, even though in Nigeria and the entire part of Africa. I know the class, we agree on this. Everyone can accept it. Performance of a nation and society is primarily determined by its status. Thus, LSA facilities and services they offer remains to be the most intrinsic institution to the human being. With all of this, the human beings are the ones suffering with the so-called health needs of rural communities here in Africa. So with the interest of time, I would like to thank my group leader, Amina Nasib, for giving me the opportunity to give an overview for this question we're having today, how to identify the health needs of rural communities in Africa. I'd like to thank my lecturer, Dr. Kanapa Seti, for giving us this opportunity so that we can present. All my entire colleague and the team, I beg to submit. Thank you. Thank you, Batao. And the second You're topic welcome. is strategies to improve. Strategies to improve rural health service in Africa. And the presenter is Aliyu. Aliyu, go on. Aliyu. Hello, please. Is doctor online or not? No. Hello. Just she I'm just left. Hello. Uh, group one, sorry to bother you. What's the question again? How to identify. Hello, yeah. How to Welcome. identify. 
the health Ali, you Abdullah need to wait. Uh, I, I think doctor is offline. We need to wait. Hello, am I audible? Yes. I mean, I can help you with the question. Huh? Hello, am I audible? Yeah, 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 audible. But wait for me now. Yes, I do mind. Uh, doctor is not. I mean, I'll wait for the dog to be back. Can you assist me with the question? The question is for the health needs of rural communities in Africa. I'm right into the chat box. Okay. Wait. Thank you. Ali, you first to mute your mic so that we wait for the doctor to, to be back online. Thank you. Yeah, next person, please. Thank you. Next person, please, in the same group. Amina, can you can you please ask other person to present? Hello, Amina. Hello, you. Yes. Am I audible now? Hello, am I audible I now? Yes, you are here, please. Okay. Yes, we are able to hear. Please go ahead. Okay, thank you, sir. My name is Aliu Sabo Usman. I am a member of Group 1. I'm here to, to represent my group on the, on the strategies to improve the rural health services in Africa. Here in Nigeria, Primary health care is the most common strategy that develop the rural health services. Based on that, I would like to highlight the strategies that improve the health care services in Nigeria, as primary health care is the essential health care based on practical, scientifically sound, and social acceptable method and technology made universal accessible to individual and family in the country through their full participation and, and at a cost that the community and country can afford to maintain at able strategies development in the spirit of self-reliance and self-determination. Based on that, based on that, Sorry. Based Sorry. on that, health education is the best. Based on that, health education is the best. <coughs> Excuse. <coughs> please, if you're not well, please take break. Mr. Ali, if you're not well, you can take break. Okay, sir. Ah, please take break and someone else can present now. Once you are okay, then you probably you can come back. Yeah, any other person from group number one? I mean, uh, any other person can talk now? Yes, next to, to Ali, you can just start off. Yeah, yeah. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning, class. Good morning, please. My, go name, is, my name is Anastalis Isa from Nigeria. My title is Identifying Children and Elderly Health Needs in Africa. 
so you are also from group number 1 right yes i'm um, in group number 1 okay please go ahead uh i'm here to introduce the purpose and present of my pro- presentation is to und- identify the health needs of children and elderly population in africa the importance this is this is important because addressing the health needs is crucial for improving health outcomes and quality of life in this population in africa in this pre- presentation i would like to discuss the key the key health needs of children and elderly population in africa and possible solution to the address and possible solution to address these needs firstly health needs for children in africa there are three major uh, as uh, there are three major health needs in africa which i would like to present number 1 malnutrition malnutrition is a major health concern of children in africa with many children suffering from under nutrition nutrition of macronutrient deficiency malnutrition can also cause a range of health problem including stunting wasting and weakened immune system addressing on mal- on malnutrition malnutrition require a multi a multi prolonged approach including provide improving access to nutritious food promoting health eating habits and providing education and support of caregivers number 2 malaria malaria is a prevalent disease in africa and children are particularly vulnerable to the effects malaria can cause fever chill and other symptoms and can lead to serve illness to death or, or death preventing malaria requires a comprehensive approach including the use of insecticide treating bed nets indoor residual spraying and access to effect anti malaria drugs number 3 immunization immunization is one is one major health concern in africa uh immunization is a key strategy for protecting children and pre- 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 preventable disease how however many children in africa do not have access to essential vaccine such as those measles polio and pneumonia improving access to immunization requires strengthening health system increasing funding for vaccine program and addressing issue related to vaccine hesitancy so the second piece is health needs to elderly population in africa am i audible Yes you are am I audible Yes you are audible please okay. go ahead Thank you thank you The first on health needs in elderly population in Africa is a chronic disease Chronic disease is such diabetes cardio cardiovascular disease and cancer are a growing concern among the elderly in Africa chronic disease can can be can cause disability and death and can also improve significant economic burden on individuals and families and families addressing chronic diseases require improvement improving access to health care promoting health lifestyle choose and providing education and support 
for caregivers. B, mental health. Mental health issues are common among the elderly in Africa, yet they are often neglected or stigmatized. Mentally health problems can have a significant impact on quality of life and can also exacerbate physical health problems. Address on mental health issue requires increasing awareness and education, improving access to mental health services, and reducing stigma and discrimination. C, social isolation. Social isolation, isolation is a significant concern for the elderly in Africa, particularly for those living alone or in rural areas. Social isolation can contribute to a range of health problems, including depression, anxiety, and physical decline. Address on social isolation requires improving access to community-based program and social uh, and services, promoting social engagement and participating and, and participation and addressing culture, attitudes, and beliefs. This is the end of my presentation. I wish to thank all the members of my group and my presenter and the CEO of the of our of our course. Thank you, sir. Good, Mr. Anas. Now, any Thank other you, member Anna. of the group? No. This is my, my, my time to present. My title is Women's Health Need in Africa. Yeah, please go ahead. Hello, Amina. You are there? Well, uh, it seems it Amina. Yeah. Okay. My connection is too bad. I'm so sorry. No, no issue, please. Uh, my my name is Amina. I want to present. You, women is health need in Africa. Yeah, please go ahead, ma. Yeah. Gender inequity, poverty among women, weak economic capacity, sexual and gender-based violence, including female genital mutilation, are major Im impediment to amelioration of women's health in Africa region. To ensure women and men have equal access to necessary opportunities to achieve their full health potential and health quality, the health sector and the community need to organize that women and men differ in terms of both sex and gender. Both of social and biological differences, women and men experience different health risks, health-seeking behavior, health outcomes, and responses from health system. Women in rural areas in Africa region are more likely to die from communicable diseases such as HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria, as well as maternal and prenatal conditions. Also, nutritional deficiencies is the women, the women in other regions. Globally, about 468 million women aged childbearing age are thought to be anemic, at least half of them in Africa. Most of these anemic women live in Africa. The state of maternal health in Africa is dismal, with the region of accounting more than half all maternal deaths around the world wide each year. And sadly, the situation is not improving significantly. There are some keys to improve women health, women's health in rural areas in Africa. Women's economic environment and essential, is essential to achieve better health outcomes. One of the most important actions 
to positive changes in Africa region is to improve women's education. Policymakers need to commit more resources to improve girls' access to school. They just challenge social stereotyping that keeps girls at home. This is yet another issue requiring multisectoral consultation on the need for attitudinal change in households and communities. Education. Women promote economic, economic empowerment. However, the empowerment will be incomplete unless women are facilitated to, to participate fully in the job market and can enjoy the fruits of their own labor. Good governance and leadership to improve, promote, support, and invest women's health. Policy and legislative initiatives to translate good governance and leadership to concrete action. Multisectoral interventions need, needed to improve women's health, empowering girls and women to be effective agencies of their own interests. Improving the responsiveness healthcare system to address health needs of women. Data collection for monitoring progress made towards achieving targets for girls and women's health. That's all. Thank you. Thank um, you very much, uh, Amina, for a wonderful presentation. Yeah, now, is there too. any other person in the same group? Ahmed Buba. Yeah. Buba. Hello. Good morning, class. Yeah, he is the last person, right? No, there's yeah, another one. Yes, yes, okay. please go ahead, Buba. Uh, uh, okay, sir. Good morning to you all, class, and our respective teacher. So, thank you, Aisha. He she is our leader of Group 1, and she's wanting me to represent my representations. So, my question is community health promoter. That is the question that I was represent now. So in this case, our general question, we talk about the health need of community rulers in Africa. So I just want to talk about my country, Nigeria. Also in Nigeria, I talk about my regions. In my regions, I just want to talk about my community. So this community health promoter is very needed in our community because of our community, they have some challenge of poor hygiene practice and cholera prevention awareness in our communities. So the community health promoter is an individual person who has people in the community to acquire knowledge through teachings or advice on proper hygiene practice to prevent illness in the community or mitigate the illness in the community. So, follow up by the mobilized community on health and sexual reproductive health and outpatient therapy or expanded program on immunizations and infant and young child feedings. Also, and gender-based violence with the mental health and psychosocial support and nutrition issues in our community. So in this case, our community is very needful for community health promoter because our people, they are affected by some conflicts, insurgency, insecurity. Some people, they are displaced in their community because of this conflict that we are facing now in our community. They are immigrants to their local government where they have living now in the IDP's camp. And they have literate of knowing how to prevent themselves from cholera, malaria in the place of their life. That's why some organization they has provided some individual as a community health promoter to help them to create some awareness in the community how to prevent and how to prevent and how to do hygiene sanitations in the IDFs camp where they have living so 
the community health promoter also they are responsible of promoting they are responsible of promoting they are responsible to promote health issues in the communities so they are responsible to promote health issues in the community to mitigate and prevent people to affected by a corolla or malaria in the community so in our community we are need community health promoter to fix out our issues of illness to prevent us and to provide health service by awareness creations in the community so here is the responsibilities of community health promoter to carry out home visit at least 10 times in a month to encourage and promote good hygiene practice and and provide key health education masses to community so now here in our community people are know how to prevent themselves from cholera malaria and others illness in the community by community health promoters in the community so we have way that we are just see ourselves in some critical conditions by doing these things let me give an example of the assumes work that they have do in the field of work they advise people to before they can cook they should wash their hands before they eat they wash their hands before they breastfeeding the child wash their hands after toilet wash their hands and they have something that they call often defecations just people are just going outside and defecate outside right and uh, they do it at the toilet so after that fluid comes when you go and save yourself in some fields fluid is comes also supplies is comes also after your cooking you can use your hands you have your fingers where you have to eat a food so after you eat food whatever you eat is going to a new host so that's why it's causing is causing some disease that can affect you to make you a diarrhea or fever something like that so that's why our community is very neat for a community health promoter to prevent our selves in the community here is my end of the presentation sir i use this opportunity to thanks aisha and our respective rapture and other colleagues thank you sir thank you very much uh, omad buba the last person in the same group please under you Anjali, you go on. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, my presentation on this assignment on how to identify health needs of rural community in Africa uh, is based on the the elderly, the older people. Uh, the world's population. is aging and projections show that this increase will continue the, this increase will affect not only developed countries but also developing countries in the coming years this will bring an increase in mortality due to non communicable diseases changing the pattern of the most common causes of death in different regions of the world and the world as a whole for most of the developing world and particularly in the sub saharan sub saharan africa uh, the epidemic such as hiv 
is appearing at a time when countries uh, when countries are crippling with with other things like poverty the recent availability of highly active ARVs means that for those people with access to treatment, AIDS is becoming a chronic disease requiring long-term clinical management. The high HIV prevalence and recent access to ARVs together with an aging population and the emerging <laughs> epidemic of non-communicable diseases will put immense pressure on already weak health services as well as on society as a whole with important changes in household structure and in the roles and responsibilities of older people. Changes in the social structure and roles and responsibilities of older people, particularly women, have already occurred. In this new reality, older women face additional responsibilities such as nursing their sick children and taking care of their grandchildren. Older people have also be, become the main breadwinners through their social pension, which is sometimes the family's only source of income. Mm -hmm. For all the above reasons, the health and well-being of older people in rural of Southern Africa has become a crucial issue which may impact the well-being of the entire population. However, the impact of the changing age structure and the growth in chronic disease and disability in poorly, is poorly understood. We have therefore set out to address this gap. Many people, elderly people, face many challenges in as far as their health is concerned, especially here in Africa, due to poverty and other factors. That is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Andrews. Now, uh, I congratulate uh, Ms. Amina and uh, are all you know, uh, you know, teammates for wonderful presentation on different health needs of different countries of Africa. They have presented Hello, sir. very well. Yes, Hello, sir. Yeah, it's yeah. remaining one person in our group that has not presented. Yes. You are also there. There is remaining one person. Yeah, yeah please go and ahead. Somebody, I'm Anderson. I mean, uh, yes, Anderson. Anderson, please go ahead. Go ahead. If it's not ready, maybe we we go with the Ali. Is it is swims Ali is ready to to accomplish uh, than the other. Thank you. Hello, am I audible? Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, you are audible. Okay, thank you, sir. <coughs> you are also part of group number one? Yes, I am member of group one. Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Okay, sir. I'm here to, to represent my group on strategies. Strategies that improve rural health services. The following, the following are the common strategies that considered that have to be considered <coughs> in order to improve the rural health services. Number one, health education. Health education is the first essential, is the first essential to be considered to improve the rural health services is through health education that public is made aware of health problem and disease, their mode of transmission and move. That is why they are being encouraged to participate in 
to participate in the prevention and control of the disease because prevention is more better than cure. Secondly, immunization. Immunization is the most strategies of improving rural health services in preventing disease through the use of vaccine. Through routine immunization, the prevalence of infectious disease as yellow fever, diphtheria, whooping cough, coronavirus, and measles are prevented and reduced. It is based on this immunization therapy. Also, there is prohibition of essential drugs. What is health without essential drugs? The importance of essential medicines for the treatment and management of clinical manifested of disease cannot be overemphasized. These essential drugs include antibiotics for infection, analgesic for fen emergency, like oxytocin and misoprosol, family planning medication, etc. Water and sanitation. Gastrointestinal diseases such as cholera, typhoid, diarrhea are common in communities with poor access of to usable and drinkable water. The aim is to teach the community how to access the best clean water or local purification methods. Treatment of communicable diseases. Communicable diseases can be easily spread from one person to another. Let's detect the communicable disease could lead to mobility and motility. However, this can be prevented through proper treatment. Prevention and control of local endemic diseases. Endemic diseases are prevented in particular region and could include malaria, Lassa fever, Ebola. Prevention and control of local endemic disease through appropriate measure and strategy is the key to promote and maintaining health. Preschool education program. Try to provide a center-based program that supports cognitive and social emotional growth and children who are not old enough to enter formal schooling. Rural transportation support. Establish transport services for area with low population density using volunteer ride sharing. Conclusively, I would like <coughs> conclusively, I would like to congrat I would like to thank you, sir, for giving us this opportunity and my colleague member. Thank you all. Thank you very much, uh, Alia Sabo. I think you are uh, you are not well. It seems right. Yes, sir. You are all right. No, sir. <coughs> did you did you uh, did you go to hospital and taken treatment? Yes, sir. It's today that I woke up with coughing and fever. Oh, you hope you are taking medicine. Yes, I take. Yeah. So please take sufficient medicine sufficient rest and you know you need to eat well okay thank you sir so take rest for three four days and you'll be all right okay sir thank you <coughs> and by the way the presentation was very good i congratulate you for the you know uh, your efforts okay thank you sir <coughs> okay. yeah thank you any other person is is any other person is in the group number one Apology, Anderson. They want to be able to. They want to be able to attend the class. Also, he has health issues. He have gone to hospital to see the doctor. Yeah. So, is there any other person? No, that's all. Yeah. Great. The uh, last person is not able to be online, sir, because no, of his bad network. Yeah. We have one no, no issue. I, yeah. No issue. I can understand. Uh, if presentations are over, we can go for discussion. Amina, is there any other person? Yeah. Is there a, who else is there? What? Who else is there to present? No, I think yeah. that is all, sir. That is all, sir. That's all. Is all from group one. Over, right? Sir, just I have a very to concern. 
Hello? Yeah, please go ahead. Mm, first of all, it was a very nice presentation. We really enjoyed and we've been following. Uh, at some point, I don't know if I'm the one who mistook the question. I feel the real question wasn't addressed because I asked for the question and I was told the question was how to identify health issues health needs of rural community in Africa. I stand to be corrected on the question. Uh, yeah. but so, Amina, yes. So uh, this is a question coming from uh, your uh, you know, friend from different group. And anybody can uh, answer? Yes. Uh, I would like to, to, to thank my brother Discord uh, for being Eddie Benaf so that he can try to say something about or to comment about what we have done that's good the question was or oh, the question is how to identify the health needs of rural communities in africa and i was the first person to present i was okay. to, i i was supposed to give the overview of which it encompasses all what is in the question so i tried to give out a, a broader explanation about the question digging deep so that i was supposed to give an overview from there my uh, my team leader amina requested the rest of the brothers everyone to take part separately giving easy way on the question so for me i was supposed to give the overview of which i did I gave the overview containing the loyal message or the loyal meaning of the question. That is what we did. Thank you. Yes, brother, I followed you very well. And uh, thank you for the research that you guys did. Now my question comes back to this. Uh, I've heard of uh, the strategies, the communicable diseases and all that. But the, how did you identify those problems in that same community, the, the, in an African community? How do we identify the problems? I didn't get the process of how we, we identify those problems. I stand to be corrected. If it was addressed, then I, I can just be reminded. Yeah. Uh, any, any other person from the group can answer him? Yes, Amina. Hello. Yes, Amina. You would like to answer? The strategy to improve rural health. First question is, was that? Was that title? The question is, how to identify the health needs? Is that uh, Mr. Discord? Is that right? Yes, sir. According to the question, now I don't. I didn't get the steps of how we are we are going to identify those same healthy needs in an African. Title community. presented by Aliyu. Aliyu, are you here? Fine. So I will answer it. No well, unfortunate. So uh, our brother who presented the above. Uh, how the question because for you need how did we came up to know that these are the earth needs of rural yeah. communities in africa isn't it so yeah Mr. So Dennis, our, no issue no issue i will answer it so that you can you can use the same methods so that will also answer uh, mr seno discard's question as well is that fine <laughs> <laughs> oh ali was try he tried this level best to 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 no, to, it to... Be. yeah yeah mm -hmm. see uh okay now group number one presented very well on different aspects of health needs of african population so you know i would like to congratulate all of them especially the rural uh, you know communities i would like to congratulate all of them and especially amina for taking this responsibility as a leader of the group and you all done wonderful job in terms of searching the materials and discussing with the group mates and also you know getting extra you know materials from different sources and you made wonderful presentation and that too this is a you know a graduation level 
and i must appreciate for your enthusiasm your uh, interest and your uh, collaboration and the teamwork and your knowledge and the skills what you got so congratulations and keep keep up the spirit thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you and and you yeah, apologize the gaps no that's okay and the next field yeah Thank that's you. okay yeah now uh, i have identified i have identified few needs of uh, health needs of you know african rural population and that we will address through social work methods through social work methods through, through social work skills so that you can practice the same thing in your uh, you know agencies or organization or wherever you are doing your practicum is that fine yeah yes that's yes, fine sir, sir. yeah so before that i would like to answer mr uh, discard discard can you tell me what is your actual name sir yeah so uh, why don't you you know i mean you are using different persons name you know uh, mobile network i will change it's a, it's a, it was it's a business uh, oh, okay. email address okay, fine, you know, fine. i'll change to it as well yeah if it is possible otherwise you can just uh, mention your name here so i can recognize all right sir charlie uh, if it's possible you can change otherwise leave it just like that you can you know uh, you can tell you can just type your name so that uh, i can remember all right sir yeah so uh, uh, dear uh, students please understand uh, mr discard though that is not his name so uh, you know yes he, he has asked very important question though you answered partly all all part spent uh, all the presenters wonderfully presented uh, your topic uh, but little bit extra a uh, little bit intensively i would like to you know uh, share here how to identify the health needs of rural you know communities in africa is that right right i mean that is a topic right yes yeah so uh, one there are there are several methods there are several methods to understand or to study are to you know identify the health needs of uh, rural communities in several methods the first one you can use any questionnaire method first one you can use any questionnaire method in that you can frame uh, 5 10 10 15 questionnaires related to health uh, needs and you can ask uh, different stakeholders for example you can ask doctors to understand you know what is their experience what is their needs because they are working in the field you can also talk to the nurses interviewed nurses you can also talk to talk to other paramedical you know uh, uh, practitioners in your rural communities you can also talk to the village head you can also talk to uh, you know other you know um, bureaucrats working in the health field to understand their experiences and needs of the rural population this is one method second one second one you can also uh, you know you know read the literature read the literature uh, you know relate to the rural health needs of your countries so that uh, many people might have done the study might have done the you know uh, uh, probably some you know kind of uh, documentation by that you can understand the third one very important you can also visit uh, the rural uh, areas talk to the people there understand what are their health needs so you can write down you can write down 1 2 3 4 5 you can talk to 10 people 15 people so you know you can ask them what is you know uh, your health need 1 2 3 4 5 so like that you can combine all of them and you can make a tentative summary saying that okay this could be health needs of our rural population am i able to am i able to reach you out yes yeah thank you yeah uh, what about others what about others you are able to follow me yes sir. sir we are able to follow you great great so this is another method uh, fourth method is you can also work in you know some kind of uh, you know ngos organizations hospitals it could be primary or secondary or even tertiary in rural areas directly you can work with the patients family members ask them what are their needs health needs i am talking so that is another way of you know assessing so there are uh, different uh, ways so uh, as a social work trainee you should know how to assess this is one thing now 
I have made some points based on you know based on their presentations. They made wonderful presentation. They said n number of health needs. The very important what I could uh, notice is malnourishment or malnutrition. So that seems to be major you know uh, health need of African rural population. Am I right? Is this the same thing for all the countries or only few countries in Africa? Mostly yes. Yes, it's almost yes, yeah. almost all. Yeah. So that is the you know major uh, you know um, what we could say the need uh, because of you know that you know because of malnourishment that may re, you know that may uh, create lot of health and you know mental health issues. Uh, children may not develop properly both psychologically, cognitively, medically, and you know uh, socially in all the aspects. Uh, you know, adult people may not develop properly, aged people may not develop properly, they may not uh, have good health. So that is a major uh, issue, uh, you know, malnourishment you can find in, you know, your uh, rural areas. And another issue is what I could find, malaria is also there. Is malaria is common in many countries or only in few countries? Yes. In many countries, it's yeah, common. Africa, it's common. Yeah, Especially in East. Uh, East Africa? Yeah, South and East Africa is very common. Yeah, so that is there yes. and uh, yes, even West Africa. Africa. And you know, West Africa, okay. So there seems to be yes, very, in the East. Mm -hmm, very common issue. Uh, another thing, what I could find, you know, cholera is also there. Is cholera still there? Yes, it is, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yeah. See, cholera is there, although it's seasonal. It yeah. in the rain See, dear students, you know, uh, uh, you can you can probably understand now. We I am sitting in uh, India, and we came from different uh, health uh, situation, and we are we are you know discussing. We are teaching the students from Africa. Many times we may not be knowing what is happening in our country. So you are the people, and you are the social work trainees, and you are the social work professionals in uh, you know later stage. We are going to work in your countries and build proper health system. Doctor, so you are you are giving doctor. a proper actual picture please you know if you don't have any uh, question with me please you know don't you know disturb uh, disturb in between this is my sincere request to all the students is that fine yes sir so you are yes, through this yes, assignment yes. through this yeah uh, through this assignment you are giving me the actual health picture, health, you know, needs of rural population of Africa. So, otherwise, I know our material, we are prepared only for Indian context. But now, through... ...of your countries, that gives us, you know, the practical demonstration. Is that right? Yes. yes, but uh, doctor, yes, I have sir. something to say. Yes, yes. yes, please go ahead. In my statement, when I was presenting, I tried to quote that uh, in March, in March 12th, 2020, Africa faces a range of health challenges from infectious diseases such as cholera, malaria, Ebola. HIV and more recently coronavirus at a growing burden of chronic diseases. Yeah, that that's was correct. it. That's correct. So, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for your information. So, uh, another issue what I, I know notice very importantly from uh, Amina's presentation, uh, you know, women gender and uh, female genital, uh, you know, mutilation uh, and anemia anemia and women mental health so these are all again you know very alarming and distressing you know uh, health issues in your rural population uh, but now now as a social work you're all trainees now you're all there in the first semester of bachelor of social work uh, program and you're understanding different uh, social needs social issues social uh, structure and uh, social uh, you know uh, legislations in your countries and social laws and different uh, you know uh, social work interventions as well please understand now you are you know probably you may also you know uh, identify some ngos and work with them 
and uh, many many supervisors from your country qualified social workers they will also supervise you but we will also there from this side from india we will also supervise you now whatever the issues you have identified or you are going to identify in your locality neighboring locality or in other parts of your country we will have to address it systematically isn't it yes sir so we will have to address it systematically we will have to resolve systematically we will have to find out some solutions properly but one thing i wanted to inform you the issues are there since ages problems are there since centuries but now suddenly you cannot you cannot completely provide a solution for all the situation am i right yes yes sir yes yes sir yeah so what we can do yes yes yeah what we can do i am glad that more than uh, you know uh, 30 yesterday 30 plus now more than uh, 28 people are part of this uh, you know um, uh, program it may be more than 40 so many of you are understanding the importance of professional social work in your country and how to use this professional social work as a tool to resolve all the issues that is one second one uh though the issues are there but one thing you need to understand you are all very energetic young people you may want to you know improvise the health issues of your rural population and you want to provide you know uh, intervention for that that is that to social work intervention but one thing you need to understand you do have uh, some limitations so you need you need proper guidance you need proper uh, a kind of support and one thing you need to know you cannot provide a you know intervention to all the problems and it may take time it may take time and sincerely you will have to work in your locality probably one by one one by one all people you know combine together it it should it probably it should become a, you know a mass intervention mass you know action that will take a time but i am glad that you know uh, the first step has started from you from individual it could be uh, dennis it could be jimba it could be anas it could be uh, you know um, andrews or it could be even uh, i mean all of you started with the first step that is taking you know admission from uh, you know bachelor of social work understanding different uh, applications understanding uh, the theories understanding different uh, you know methods of social work so that as an individual wherever you are working you could be working in you know um, charitable organization ngo or you know primary health center or senior citizen center or youth organization women welfare center or any other place you will bring some changes in that locality in that place that itself is a major major contribution from your end am i correct yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir so slowly slowly i will teach you there are a lot of issues whenever you have a presentation i'll teach you how to use the social work methods there are six methods that methods you can use systematically all of them are professionally developed methods group work case work committee organization and uh, you know social uh, social work administration social action and social uh, research all of them you can use you can work within your limitations but one thing you, you many times you may understand i am working since many uh, days i am trying my art but still unable to get, resolve the issues so please understand all of them you cannot resolve issues because they are all there since ages and you are the single person and you will you too will have a lot of limitations so you will have to you will have to work within your limitation and you will have to you know probably try, uh, provide a solution within your uh, capacity that is a you are a human being professional social work training you too will have some limitation within the limitation only you should work is that correct right yes yes, yes, yes sir sir so. yeah so over a, over a period of time you will have your own group you will have your own organization you will have your own association probably you can make a you know a, a, a bigger impact uh, you know in your society that will make that will bring lot of changes but now you are an individual you are an individual uh, you know trainee that that itself is a major step in your uh, locality 
i'm sure there will be a lot of positive uh, you know changes in uh, you know health aspects of rural population of different african countries yeah so this is thing any other uh, you know we can take up some questions now from uh, uh, different participants or even the same group hello sir yeah please go ahead uh, sir uh, my name is abdul salam mustafa from nigeria so uh, sir yesterday uh, i was not attend the class that is why i miss the group assignment so uh, i am here to uh, let you know that we don't have uh, the group but uh, i you think can, you we can are take, five yeah, you can number. yeah you can form group number 6 Okay, we form is so we need the question because uh, I think we are five yeah, in number. Yeah, the topic I'll give you. Yeah, the topic I'll give you. Yeah, please write down. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the role of social worker. The role of social worker. Hello? Yeah, am I audible? Hello, sir. The role of social worker yeah, yeah. in hospital setting of African countries. Uh, uh, this is, is the topic. Question? The role of social worker in Africa. You know, the role of social worker in hospital setting in the African and countries. Okay. Okay, sir. Can you write it uh, in the <laughs> chat board, please? Okay, fine. Yeah. So, uh, can you just uh, uh, who are all right, other sorry. members for uh, the, who are other members who are not part of any groups? Okay. Any other members who are not part of uh, any groups? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't actually part of group. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Mustafa can be a leader for group number uh, six. So please take right, down yes. other yeah other members' names as well. You okay, can make sir. a group. You can make a subgroup. Take down all the numbers, and you can make WhatsApp group, and you can discuss this topic, and uh, probably you can present it on you know twenty fourth. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry, on twenty fourth, you can present it on twenty seventh. No. Tomorrow the group number two is presenting. So, uh, I mean, who is the leader for two? Group number two is Mr. Jimba Dennis. Both of you are there. Yes, I'm here, sir. Yeah. So you are ready? Yeah, we are ready. So, just like today, how our uh, group number one. Members presented, please do the same thing. All right. Tomorrow and the day for tomorrow, that is twenty fourth. Uh, group number uh, three and four. Group number three, Mr. Francis and Grace. Both of you are there. Yes, yes. Yeah, you will have to present and uh, you know twenty uh, fourth. Group number four, Mr. Uh, Michael and Simba. Both of you are there. Yes. Yeah, both of you will have to present on the twenty twenty fourth. All right, sir. Is that fine? And uh, the last day, that is twenty seventh. Uh, you know, um, Mr. Umar, Ishq and Umar. And now, Mustafa, Mustafa and team. Sorry, sir. Tomorrow is twenty-three. Tomorrow is twenty-three. Yeah. Yeah. So we are group two. We are going to present tomorrow, right? Yes, yes, yes. Right. And twenty-fourth, Francis and Grace, group number three. Are these two people there today? Are any member from uh, group number three? Yes, we are. Yeah, so you uh, you know you are group 
your group is going to present on 24th all right sir and Hi, group number four is also michael and uh, simba so group number four is also going to present on 24th Are there so what about group number five? Pardon? Group number five, sir. Five and six will be presenting on 27th. All right, sir. So are there anyone from group number four in the presentation now? Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. You are. Yes, yeah, anyone, sir. Yes, anyone sir. from group number four? Yes, sir. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. yeah, so you will have to present on 24th. All right, sir. Yeah, that's great. So um, uh, the group number five, uh, what is the six, Mr. Mr. Pandal? See, the topic I have uh, you know, typed here, and uh, you will have to discuss with all your members, group members who are not part of any five groups and everyone will have five uh, you know, a minutes time. You will have to divide them subtopic. For example, when you are working in the hospital, like working with uh, children, health issues, working with the senior citizens, health issues, working with women, health issues, working with uh, you know, addiction, working uh, addiction patient, working with different other uh, patients. So you will have to subdivide the topic with all group members and they will have to prepare uh, the presentation for five minutes and you can present here. Is that fine? That's okay, sir. That's fine. Yeah, any questions or clarifications? Um, yes, sir. I do have a question, you know. Can I go Please on? Go ahead. All right. So this um, is actually a question that I asked earlier before you came in, you know, when you had a network glitch. So I was actually asking about um the field work report you know we are meant to get this provider in our location so i'm asking in a scenario whereby one can't actually get along with a supervisor or someone who actually have um, a degree in social work which is the criteria for you know getting this provider what should be a substitute here i don't know if you get my question sorry i didn't i didn't get your question can you just say a little bit slowly all right all right so my question is this we are meant to get a supervisor for our field work from our location. So my question is, in a scenario whereby you can um, find, find someone who has a degree or an MSc in social work as a supervisor, what should be a substitute for this? So that means you are not providing, a, you are not getting any supervisor from your locality with uh, social work degrees? Yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm asking. So what should I do about this um, issue? You try to find out in other location. All right, all right, all right. Not necessarily right. from your location, probably any other place. That is one. Otherwise, otherwise, if you don't find, just don't worry. With uh, our guidelines, whatever you are discussing with me, and whatever you you know discussed with my other colleague, in the previous classes, and the guidelines is also there. Just follow, just follow, and finish this semester. And in meanwhile, we will try to find out some solution with the uh, university authorities. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Also, I, I also have a question regarding, um, you know, the visitation of these organizations. So I'm asking, where, where, whereby in a condition whereby um, there's a limited amount of organization, these non-government organizations, government organizations in one's geographical location, what should be, you know, an option here? I don't know if you get my question. Yeah, so that means, see, you, uh, you know, uh, your uh, area may be very bigger place. You'll have to identify a number of places, see whether they are registered or not, see whether they are doing uh, you know, social uh, social uh, activities or not. So if one person, one organization is not registered, I, I think you'll have to find out another organization. All right. So well, wherever we don't have them, um, you know, a sufficient number of them, can one actually go or reckon with the few numbers he or she is able to get? Sorry, can you just repeat another, uh, I mean, can you just repeat the question? All right. So whereby, you know, in let's say in my location and um there's a limited number of these organizations yeah. and let's yeah. say I'm, I'm i'm meant to visit like let's say um up to 10 of them 15 and 20 of them so i'm able to get only five 
um mm -hmm. can i actually go with with the five no so <laughs> because you will have to complete the entire the the, the requirement for example first semester 20 you'll have to identify i'll tell you one thing i know mr frederick which country you are from i'm from nigeria yeah nigeria from so yeah. uh, which part of nigeria you are from um i'm from the east east is there any other person from east from east place here hello students is there any other person from frederick place R Rashida Olani, sir, uh, sir, is not sir online. Uh, it's better for him to uh, tell ah. us his state so that uh, uh, it should be easy to get that one. Yeah, now now I'll give you the answer for uh, Mr. Redrick question so that that will also resolve some other uh, you know uh, student question. Uh, what is that questions? Sure. Mr. Frederick, please listen. Yeah, please listen. You know now you there may be some schools in your locality. Are there schools? Sure, sure. There's, there's a whole lot of them. Yeah. So identify schools. Are there any hospitals, primary care centers in your locality? Yeah, yeah. There are. Identify them. Are there any youth organizations? Um, probably. Um, I'm not trying to think. Even police think station. Yeah. yeah, you will have, even police station is also fine. So because she they they will also do welfare activities no they will sometimes they will do you know counseling for couples for any other uh, people so that also you'll have to identify there may be some uh, you know um, uh, charitable organizations religious organizations there may be some uh, you know uh, uh, various community rehabilitation centers addiction centers see all of them are part of your agencies all right sir all right that's fine there may be some children uh, welfare centers some orphanages poverty reduction centers drug detection centers n number of there so you can just you know search you know one by one that that's what i'm saying you will have to travel into your community you will have to walk into your community talk to the people talk to the you know uh, seniors talk to the uh, school teachers talk to the police station you know in charge people talk to the you know post pastors so if you try to establish the contact and explore different aspects of uh, in your community i'm sure you will get n number of centers all right, sir. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, sir, Phyllis, I have one question because yeah, I'm not a get you right, please. Hello, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, sir, uh, I made mention police tension. So is it police tension is okay for us uh, as a place to for visiting? Yes, yes, yes. For one visit, you can do it. Okay, thank you, sir. But try to do, try to see what social activities they are doing it, what welfare activities they are doing it. Okay, sir. And show them your ID card. Okay, so show them your ID card. Show them a mail that you know you are a you know a student of uh, uh, you know Igno India doing bachelor degree. So they will support you in terms of uh, you know field work, uh, you know uh, field work practicum and uh, agency visit. Okay, sir, I have a question. Okay, this thank you very much, sir. Yes, again, okay, please go ahead. Uh, concerning this issue of visitation to organizations, so uh, I have talked to one of the uh, leaders or personnel from one organization, and I told him about I'm coming to visit the Can you please increase your volume? I'm unable to hear you. Can you please yeah. increase your volume? Okay, okay, I'm saying, I'm saying, I have talked to one of the personnel from one organization uh, close to me here. Nigeria. So he told he told me that if I need that uh, their cooperation concerning all that I need, I have to present the introductory letter from the school. So actually, when we were discussing with the Stokundi before, he told that we can present our ID cards, and I told him that he said that we should do that. I said no, if we want it to be formal, so we have to present the introductory letter to to them. So mm. with this, I'm asking. <laughs> Sir, please, can you provide us with this introductory letter so that we can we can go along with this? Yeah, that that I will. Yeah, that uh, you know, uh, there are uh, several departments, several uh, uh, institutions are part of this you know program. I'll try to discuss with our uh, school director and uh, director of uh, center of online, uh, so that uh, you know uh, I'll try to discuss with them uh, on the same issue. That is one. Second one, if that are hello. Organization is not providing. Try to explore another organization. 
Okay. Okay, we can we can go with those who are ready to accept it with the uh, Hello. Ad Hello. Hello, am I audible? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. So that organization that you can leave it and explore another organization. Okay. Okay. But in this case, I, I think we will not Am I we will get yeah, you are audible. But sir, in this case, I, in this case, I think we may not actually get the uh, total number of the required or done for this service. We are required to visit 15 organizations. That, that, that so is, yeah, that your concern, case, I know, uh, yeah, your concern is well taken. Your concern is well taken. I'll discuss with, uh, you know, uh, concern authorities. Okay, thank you, sir. We hope to hear it soon. Thank you. Yeah, sir, yeah. I have so, a question or so. Next question. I just... Yes. Uh, yesterday, somebody asked about the fuel rate supervisor and the, the qualification that is required of them. Uh, I don't know if I got you right because... Sorry, he, I'm unable to understand, uh, Mr. Anjo. Can you just repeat? I was saying, <clears throat> I wanted to confirm... Uh, I want to confirm about the qualification of a field work supervisor. Uh, if someone has got a, a degree, a bachelor degree, uh, in social work, does he qualify to be a, a field work supervisor or it's only one who has got a master's degree? Yeah. No, no, they say, uh, yeah, they, the, all the supervisor, field work supervisor should have uh, uh, at least a degree in social work, at least, you know, undergraduation or graduation social work to be qualified as, you know, field work supervisor. Okay, so at least a degree in social work. Is fine? Yeah. At least degree. All right. Thank yes, in social work. Yeah. Okay. That's Thank you, sir. Then I, I got you right yesterday. Thank you. Oh, yes. Hello. Uh, Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, please go ahead. Yeah, Rashida. Yeah, Rashida, please. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, wait, no, wait. Hello. Hello. Okay. In fact, we are asked to uh, to yeah, one person, please, one person, please. To the supervisor, which which some of us we have found we have found them. So in fact, zero one zero five. Uh, can we move on with the same supervisor or? They are Sorry, I'm unable to understand your question. There is some network issue. Can you just repeat? Uh, in our first semester, we were asked to find the field supervisor, which of mm -hmm. all, which some of us we have found them. So, in one zero five, are we going to move on with the same supervisor, or we should find another one, or you will be our field supervisor? I'm sorry, I'm, uh, there is a network, your voice is breaking, unable to understand. Do one thing, do one thing, ma. Can you write, can you just, you know, uh, write the message in the chat box tomorrow, not today? All right. Hello. Yeah. That is an R, you can also even mail me. Hello, sir. Yes, Rashida. Thank you, sir. Please, sir, what I want to ask is, does the supervisor have to be someone that has a degree in social work? What if I get someone that has a degree in psychology? Uh, Can no, it be No, yeah, you're, you're, you know, you're correct, but social psychology is different and social work is different, no. So psychology people may not be knowing uh, social work and they may oh. not be knowing social work methods, social work skills. They may be knowing social activities, but they may not be knowing social work methods and uh, skills. So that's why we, we wanted you to identify person who is having some qualification, at least a degree in social work. I'm actually trying, I'm actually finding uh, difficulties in getting someone that has a degree in social work. Those around me are sociology, psychology, educational management and the likes. Yeah, I, I, I got your point, Rashida, which country you are from? I'm, I'm in Nigeria, I'm in Ibadan, Southwest yeah. in Nigeria precisely. Yeah. yeah, so someone from your country, uh, probably help you out. So there are many students from Nigeria here. Probably in, if they, if uh, if you don't find out in your locality, 
there may be you know uh, in other locality that can be you know probably you know that can be shared by uh, you know friends from your country oh okay sir all right sir thank you very much Even you can it. also get guidance from uh, you know guidance through online if there are someone else from different part of your country they can okay. supervise you through you know online all right sir so which means i can get someone in any part of nigeria not it does not any have to be in exactly all right exactly, thank you exactly. all right thank you yeah. So hope I have answered you know some questions today. We can you know uh, we can probably we can you know um, discuss many other questions tomorrow. Uh, right, yeah. So you have a great day. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Namaste, sir. Mala Anas, please let us chat uh, privately in WhatsApp now. Yeah.